and welcome to the STEAM Club. Today we're gonna to talk about the M in STEAM, which is math. Not always been my favorite subject, but I do love what we're gonna talk about today. Today we're gonna to talk about tangrams, and you might have heard about that. It's geometrical shapes, which is part of math, and it's a puzzle, and it comes from China sometime around 1500 years ago during the Tang Dynasty, and it was brought over to Europe sometime in the 19th century and made its way over to America. Apparently it was really popular during World War I uh, because it's a, a, a puzzle you can easily take with you. It's just could be some, it could be made out of wood or paper and I'm going to show you in just a second exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but it's just some uh, seven pieces that you can make into different shapes uh, and it's a dissection puzzle so you can take it apart put it back together um, and there are lots of other puzzles that have been created uh, after this but this is the oldest one that I've read about and very very interesting. So let me show you. This is a tangram all put together. Now once you take the pieces apart, there are seven pieces and all seven pieces are always the same. So you have two big triangles, you have two small triangles, you have a square, a medium triangle, and the most challenging one to say, a parallelogram. Can you say that with me? Parallelogram. So it's always those seven pieces and in a minute I'm going to show you how to do some puzzles. I think we should do this really cool boat puzzle. So here's our shapes. Remember we have two large triangles, a medium triangle, two small triangles, a square, and a parallelogram. So let's let's put our boat together. So first we're gonna take our big triangle, actually both of our big triangles, and we're gonna make, and Miss Tracy gets confused too because like I said, math. So that's our sail. And then we're gonna take our square, put it right here in the corner. And then what shapes do you think go here? Two small triangles. If that's what you yelled out, you're right. And then at the bottom, we use our medium triangle and our parallelogram. And we made our boat. Pretty cool, huh? Let's try another one. This one's a little bit trickier. This is a cat. Does it look like a cat to you? Let's figure out what our shape should be. 
I think we'll put our square here, and then you clearly see what these two shapes are. They are our small triangles. We're gonna put those there, and then we're gonna use our big triangle at the bottom, and another big triangle. And then we have to figure out how we're going to put the parallelogram and the medium triangle in there. Here we go. Like this. And like this. And this is our cat. So there's lots and lots of puzzles online. And most of them have the, um, the answers with them. I've been practicing today. Want to do another one? Let's move our shapes over. Let's see. Oh, I love the fish. He's pretty easy, actually. So the medium triangle goes at the top. And remember, for it to be a true 10 gram puzzle, you have to use all the shapes. They have to be laying flat. They can't be laying on one each, another. Um, but you got to use all of them. Oh, look, this one's easy. The parallelogram fits right there. Then what do you think in the middle? It looks like a square, so let's make our square with our big triangles. And then we have to fit this in. Well, obviously that's a square. And look at this cool thing. When we put our triangles together at the bottom, what shape does that resemble? What do you think? I think it looks just like a parallelogram. Look, it fits on there perfect. So if you put two triangles together, they can be a parallelogram. So we put two shapes together to make a square and two shapes together to make a parallelogram. And that's our fish. Pretty cool. And then again, let's clean your board off. Let's see. Let's do one more. Let me see. A fox, a swan, a turtle. Turtle's pretty easy. Let's do the fox. So we're going to use it, the square for his head. The ears seem to always be small triangles. That might not be true in everything, but the animals that I looked up, that's what it seemed to be. So there's our fox head, his beautiful ears. I'm gonna try to put him on there just so. And then we need a body and we need feet. So first we're gonna do a large triangle. It's gonna be part of his body and his feet. And then we're gonna use our medium triangle in the middle and our big one at the end. And look, we made his body and his feet. And then what do you think? The parallelogram is his tail. It's even orange. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good looking fox. I like that fox. He's pretty cool. I hope you had a good time learning about tangrams and please go on our website and on our Pinterest board and find out more information and have a good time playing. Hope you're having a good summer and that you're reading every day. Don't forget to complete summer reading. Check out our website. There's some cool prizes this year. Talk to you later.